It is commonly believed that there is no known cause or cure for ulcerative colitis. In this episode, we're gonna blow the lid off that myth and show how it's caused, how it's cured, and why you probably haven't heard anything about this. Ulcerative colitis is a disease you may have heard of. It's where you develop ulcers or lesions on the lining of your colon. It's pretty gruesome, involves bloody stools, a lot of pain, and I'll spare you the details. But people seem to be just in denial about what actually causes it. To sum up the ignorance, here's what it says on Wikipedia. There is no known cause for ulcerative colitis, but there are many possible factors such as genetics and stress. In reality, the cause is animal products, in particular how the body responds to high levels of certain proteins that are in meat, eggs, dairy, and fish. Here's how it works. Step one, undigested meat makes it into the colon where the proteins in the meat begin to ferment. Step two, fermentation continues and high levels of sulfur-containing amino acids such as methionine, which are present in high levels in animal meat, break down into hydrogen sulfide as they're digested by the gut bacteria. Hydrogen sulfide is extremely toxic to the human body. Step three, hydrogen sulfide rips apart your colon lining or colonic epithelium and causes ulcers. It's also so toxic that it rips apart the DNA of your colon cells. That's why it's referred to as a genotoxin. Now let's rewind a bit and back that up with science because so many people are in denial about this subject. Here's a study showing how up to 12 grams of meat protein can make it undigested into your colon where it ferments. Here's another study that says, quote, protein fermentation is considered detrimental for the host's health. And here's a paper published in the journal Nutrition showing how the methionine in meat becomes hydrogen sulfide. Highlighting the link between hydrogen sulfide and ulcerative colitis saying, quote, sulfide has been implicated in the pathogenesis of ulcerative colitis and may damage the colonic epithelium in several ways. Here's another study showing that the more meat subjects ate, the more hydrogen sulfide was produced by their digestive system. If you doubled the amount of meat that they ate, they doubled the amount of hydrogen sulfide that they produced. And from some cancer researchers at the University of Urbana in Illinois, here's a graph showing how hydrogen sulfide concentrations are directly correlated with our DNA being pulverized. So I think the link has been well established. Eat meat, meat putrefies in your gut, creates toxic compounds, and rips apart the lining of your colon, creating ulcers. Now for the granddaddy of all ulcerative colitis studies that followed 60,000 people for a decade, came up with, quote, high total protein intake, specifically animal protein, was associated with a significantly increased risk of inflammatory bowel disease, which includes ulcerative colitis. And another study showing a high protein diet, particularly animal protein may be associated with increased risk of inflammatory bowel disease and relapses. And now for the cure, a whole food plant-based diet free from all animal products is the best bet by far. It might be pretty obvious by this point that just giving up meat, dairy, eggs, and fish altogether would just reduce your methionine intake, reduce your hydrogen sulfide production, and prevent it in the first place. But there's also more that happens when you adopt a whole food plant-based diet, and that has to do with fiber. Here's a study that said, quote, fiber could have one of several preventative roles, either through an effect on microflora metabolism, on transit time, by diluting colonic contents, or by absorbing toxic materials. Now let's solidify that science with some anecdotes. Here's a woman named Summer who, after having to go to the bathroom up to 30 times a day because of her ulcerative colitis and being in so much pain that she sometimes couldn't leave the house, she said, quote, I'm completely off prescription drugs and my ulcerative colitis is in full remission. That's after following a plant-based diet for less than a year. And here's a guy named Andrew who adopted a whole food plant-based diet under the McDougal program. He said, quote, it's been 11 years since I first became seriously ill and I am feeling better than I ever have. Just last month, I had a colonoscopy that showed me to be completely free of any signs of ulcerative colitis. So full remission again. This brings up the final question of why haven't you heard this before? It basically comes down to doctors and their personal biases. It's a bit like a few decades ago, several decades ago, when 
doctors were smokers very commonly and they wouldn't tell their patients to quit smoking because they themselves smoked. They're not gonna tell you to stop eating meat right after they just ate a hamburger for lunch and with 95% of the population eating meat, it's pretty obvious why people aren't hearing about this. In conclusion, ulcerative colitis is caused because meat rots in your gut and creates super toxic substances that eat away at your insides. The solution is a whole food plant-based diet. But you don't want to give up meat? Then you also don't want to give up ulcerative colitis. Thank you for watching.